Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to install the randomizer for Metroid Prime 3. Now, obviously, the first thing that you're going to want is obviously your ISO for Metroid Prime 3. Um, there are uh, different ways to go about this. Obviously, if you have a homebrewed Wii, you can just rip your um, disk into an ISO file right away, I believe. Um, you are going to need the NTSC, like, standalone version, not Trilogy, does not work with this. Um, so yeah, you can just rip it with clean rip, or if you, um, have a file that is like any other extension, it's probably going to be a WBFS file. That's like the standard, um, ROM extension for Wii games. Um, what you can do is that you can... Let me find it real quick. You can um, download this thing called Wii Backup Manager. Let me see where where did I put it? Uh, right here. Yeah, Wii Backup Manager. This is like a storage, you know, manager for Wii WBFS files. Um, I will leave a link to this and all of the stuff in the description. So the first thing is that you're gonna want to run it whatever um, version of Windows you're on. I'm on the 64-bit. So I'm gonna run this. It's going to bring up this window. So now what you're going to want to do first is that you're going to want to select drive one. And then you're going to see this inactive drop down. You're going to click that. And you're going to go to custom folder. From there, it'll bring up a bunch of uh, your PC. You're going to, from here, you're going to direct uh, to your WBFS file, the folder that's contained in. So in here, this is where it is. Okay. So now I have it selected, and now I want to get this into an ISO, in the, the ISO format. So I'm going to checkbox it, and then I'm going to hit transfer right down here, ISO, not CSI, so we want regular ISO. And then from there, we're going to um, extract it right to where we're working, right here. Take a couple seconds, and then that's it. We now have the ISO. Um, if you, some other notes, if you have an nkit.iso, um, the way that you can get that to a regular ISO is that if you have the nkit tool, you can go to nkit processing, watch this one, um, select this drop down. You're going to either do recover to ISO or convert to ISO, depending on if you have the extra partitions for it. Um, I, I recommend recover to ISO because that will just help with your, the hashes of the files if need be. But if you don't have that, convert to ISO should just work fine. You're just going to drag it in here, process it, and then it's going to put it in like process down here in Wii. And that's that. But I do not have that, so we're not going to deal with that. Okay, so next, next up is that you're going to want to actually get the actual rando for it. And you can find that at um, randodiscord.metroidprime.run. That is the link to the official uh, Metroid Prime randomizer server. You can see right here. Here, you're going to want to scroll down to Corruption General. Hit the pins. You're going to come down here to Gollop's message. You're going to download this folder. I have everything downloaded, so I'm not going to download this. That is the actual randomizer for Prime 3 that we're going to start off with. So now you're going to use WinWar or 7-Zip, what have you, and extract this, um, preferably into its own folder so it doesn't get too messy. Just extract uh, Metroid Prime 3 randomizer. Okay, now, first things first, you're also going to want to hot, hot patch this real quick. So you're going to want to go back to the Discord and you're going to go to Corruption Help. Look at this pin. I don't know why it's in a different channel. I'm going to go to Diceron's file right here. This is a patch for Morph Ball Bombs. There was like a problem with it. Like if you had those shuffled, it wouldn't work. Never mind. You're just going to download this anyways for the sake of it. And you're going to go back here. I have it downloaded already. This one, you should just be able to drag into your folder and then extract here. 
and it'll drop everything right here. And if you're going to see like overwrite, you're just going to want to overwrite everything. And there you go. Now the morph ball bombs will work and all that. Now we can actually get into the meeting. So now we're going to take that ISO that we generated earlier. I'm going to drag this back into our MP3 rando folder. And we're going to dra drag it right into this folder where it says ISO. This was uh, for all of the command line stuff. We're going to rename it to just, dot, or to just MP3 dot ISO. That's it. Make sure that it's that you have, if you don't already know, you can enable the file extensions just to see what the file is, just to make sure that you don't like rename it mp3.iso.iso. So you want it to be mp3.iso. Okay. So now the first things that you want to want to do is that you're going to want to do extract iso. You're going to run this batch file. You're going to run it. Take a little bit. Basically what it's doing is that it's going to open up the ISO file into a big file tree. This is definitely going to be the longest step. So sit tight. All right, and it's done. Press 90 key to continue. I'll immediately close the window. All right, now, right after that, we're going to run remove attract videos dot bat. This is just to remove some other files. This one will not take nearly as long. So you can continue. All right. From there, we're going to go and get the actual updates for this rando. So now we're going to go back to the Discord. We're going to go back to general. And we're going to hit this first pin right here from Mr. Miguel. This is his GitLab link. And we're going to download... Um, his updates, you can get it right here. This is actually not the most recent. You can go to releases, update 10 is, as of recording, this is the most up-to-date up one. But you're gonna download this right now. I already have this, so that's fine. And then we're gonna go back. All right, so now you're gonna drag MP3 update into your randomizer folder. And this one you're also going to just extract right here. Um, you can replace this, this is just a readme. All right, so now there's some more stuff in here. So now uh, we're just going to run mp3 update.bat. This is going to just update some stuff, some hot patches for Rando that Gollop was not able to update. This will take a little bit. All right, done. So now, in the future, if this ever gets updated from Miguel again, what you can do is that you can go into original packs. This is like all of the data for Prime 3 that you're going to need. And you can replace that with uh, the packs right here. This is basically, Miguel wants you to patch the updates from a vanilla, uh, like vanilla export. So he, you can just use these in the future and then, you know, run the update again. All right, now we're gonna actually roll a rando seed. For this, you're gonna need to go to the actual Randovania Discord. Um, I will have that linked into the description as well. So from here, you're going to want to go to the Dev Builds channel. This will not be on by default. You're gonna to have to come up here to Channels and Roles, and you're gonna to want to click on I want to help test for Randovania. That'll get you the beta tester role and give you access to the Dev Builds channel. So from here, you're just going to download the most recent one uh, and whatever platform you'd like. Um, I do Windows. This will give you a separate 
.zip file, or you can just have a thing install for you. Uh, choose whatever you like. So from here, let's just get this out of here. Um, we're going to, this is their uh, .zip file. We're going to extract here. And then they keep it in a separate folder, so I can just extract here again. Going here, we're going to launch Randovania. Uh, if you see anything like this, it's probably just because you have the stable build. Do you want to reset this part? Yeah, that's fine. Just it won't change anything. Uh, you're going to log in. It is required to just like connect your Discord just for like ease of access and all that. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Logged in. It's okay. So as of recording, um, Prime 3 is like not in active active development for Randovania, so you have to use their dev build to get access to it. So from here, I'm going to go to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. This will not be in uh, like your standard stable. I believe even you actually have to like, yeah, show experimental settings. I believe that you have to click this first in order to see Prime 3. But once you do, you're just going to click on it. Uh, you can play whatever your presets, whatever Randovania stuff that you want. Um, we're just going to do the, whoops, beginner preset, start preset, generate. It's going to generate a rando seed for us. All right. So now you're going to actually not use this permalink right now that is not important. What we're going to need is, well, obviously first, if you want random doors, colors, whatever your starting suit is, you want to be, be my guest. I don't care. You want to go to export game. Hmm. Yes. I read the fact, all that. Um, here, this is what you're going to want. So, so since there's no, um, like actual patcher tied to Randovania, this is what you're going to use for the randomizer that we downloaded. I'm gonna take all of these. The bottom two aren't important. Those are just your export settings. You only really need these three, your seed, starting location, and starting items. I'm gonna copy that. That's okay. And we're gonna go back from randomizer. All right, so from here, we're gonna to go to randomize packs. .bat. We're not gonna run this yet. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna right click it and we're gonna get it edit that'll bring up like your notepad or whatever um writing program that you're using for it you're going to want to replace all of your the three lines in this case that i copied you're just going to copy what you got for randomization and then while you're here um you can just set all of your following things to true or false these are like just some ease of access stuff it's like random colors random Welding colors, don't really need that. Hyper hints, those will give you um, hints for both hyper ball and hyper grapple in GFS Valhalla. So we can just set that to true. Fast flying skips a bunch of cutscenes in between transitions between planets. Let's set that to true. Phase skip, that will just skip the entirety of the like the entirety of phase. As soon as you um, set the course to phase, the game will win. Um, we can set that off. Um, require launcher, basically like required mains and echoes. Um, I usually like to set that to true. Same with ship nestles. All right, now we're going to save it. You can just hit do that by control S, close it. Now we're going to run the bat file. Right, and it's done. It is, your game is now officially randomized. And now, if you want to play on Dolphin, you can close all of this. We're all done with the file managing stuff. If you want to play on console, there's a few more steps, but we're going to get back to that. So first up, let me bring up Dolphin and here. So now currently your, um, your Prime 3 randomized 
is like not consolidated into an ISO yet. Um, it is currently still like in like a big folder tree or whatever. It's a little complicated. Um, if you want to like consolidate it into an ISO or WBFS, Ulti has some batch scripts that you can use. I'm not going to cover them, but uh, you can just like look in the pins for corruption health. I should pretty sure they'll be there. Um, but for here, we're just going to go to config and then we're going to go to add. Then we're going to add like the the folder that we've been doing everything in. MP3 randomizer, go to go to go game files, data, sys, add. Um, if you don't do that, just make sure that you have check subfolders on just in case if, if you're not getting it. Close that down. Here it is. Your this is your randomized game, Metroid Prime 3. Um, the, the banner doesn't always update. It's a little weird. Um, shouldn't worry about that. So if you want to play on Dolphin, you just play, you just run this. You can either use a real Wii Remote in a Dolphin bar, or you can even use Prime Hack if you are so inclined. Um, but now, okay, let's talk about um, doing this on console. So from here, we're going to go back to where we were doing stuff at. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need one more thing first. We're gonna need something called Wit. This is like a tools to help with like editing WBFS files and stuff. Because what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take um, your randomized game and you're gonna consolidate it into a WBFS file. What you can do here is that you're gonna go to Wit. I believe it's Wit Wm dot D. I don't know how you actually pr pronounce that. You're going to go down here. You're going to download whichever platform that you're using. I'm using 64-bit uh, Windows, so just download that. So from here, we're going to extract this to a folder. And then you're going to run Windows install.exe. I actually already have this installed, so it doesn't take that long, so don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to go back to our rando. Now we're going to run create wbfs.bat. This is going to convert it all into a uh, wbfs file. This will take a little bit, so sit tight. And it's done. Yeah, anyway, continue. It's going to create this folder called WBFS. This is what you're going to load onto your hard drive for your Wii. This is your WBFS file. So from here, I'm going to take my hard drive. I have it right down here. We're going to open it up a bit. WBFS, what you can do, any way of thing, you can just drag it right onto your hard drive. And then you're going to replace it, what have you. It's going to copy over. All right, and there you go. You can now take out your hard drive, plug it back into your Wii, launch like USB loader, GX, Wii Flow, what have you. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to homebrew your Wii. You can go to Wii.guide to figure out how to do that yourself. And with that, that should be everything done. And you can now play Metroid Prime 3 randomized with all a bunch of cool updates. Yeah, long process. Um, this will not likely be the case forever. One day, it'll um, be much easier to do from Randovania, but for now this is uh, just a neat uh, comprehensive guide on how to do this as it is now. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this, don't subscribe. This is never, this type of video is never happening again, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye bye.